Saturday we have one of the jewels of the Saratoga meet, the Sword Dancer. It's a grade one, half a million dollars. Twelve furlongs on the inner turf. And uh, this typically is one of the great turf races of the year. Uh, this year I, I think we're going to see a changing of the guard. We have several of the uh, old familiars in here uh, who look to be just under their, uh, their what, they, what they had been able to do in the past. We have some unproven uh, up-and-comers, and we have a couple of Europeans who haven't transferred their European form to the States yet. Uh, I, let's take a look at, the, well, first of all, let's take a look at the, uh, the old guard and see what we've got here. The two-time defending champion is Grand Couturier. Uh, Bobby Roboto has uh, brought him up to this race this year again and with the same types of preps that he's had in the last year, last two years, where he runs in minor races, doesn't do that well, but gets enough out of them uh, that when he's able to get the trip, uh, he's been able to win this race. Uh, he was third three years ago. He has two wins. Uh, he's got the rail this year. Uh, he's um, There's no reason why he can't win this other than a lot of things have to go well to win a major grade one stake. And uh, things have gone his way the last two years. This is a big field. He's on the rail. Going three turns, uh, it, it's not going to be, again, easy. Uh, he, he extricated himself out of, a, out of a box last year and, and came on to win. Uh, I have the funny feeling that uh, something will manage to go wrong. He has the ability, uh, but uh, I, I think maybe luck will be against him this year. Can't blame you if you like it, though. Uh, uh, two of the other uh, old timers in here, uh, the great Better Talk Now, uh, one of my favorite uh, old turf geldings. Uh, he's still paying his bills, you know. He still uh, he still makes money. Um, he's still closing hard. Yeah, it's been a while since he's won a race, though. He seems to have lost a step. Um, it's it's hard to say it, but I don't think he can win, uh, which which makes me a little sad. Uh, but I don't think he's going to have enough late to weave his way through this field this year. Uh, you know, yes, I would use him in the exotics. Uh, another of the old guys is Brass Hat. Well, he seems like he's been around forever. He's still tough. He's still got that uh, great flashy finish that he's always shown on dirt and on turf. Uh, but usually he he's, leaves himself with too much to do. And... Uh, I, I think that, again, you know, uh, he's stuck on the outside. It's going to be a tough trip for him. Uh, he's maybe not quite the horse that he, that he once was, and, uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave him off my tickets. Um, some of the up-and-comers. You have uh, Rising Moon, who certainly shown that he can be a, a factor, although only a factor, not a winner, uh, going long on dirt. He is turf-bred. We'll have to see if he can transfer. Form, you know, we'll have to see if he can transfer his uh, dirt form to turf. It's certainly possible, but uh, you know, it, this is awfully tough company for your first significant turf race. I think he had two turf races as a maiden, where he was fine, but uh, this is his first real race, and uh, it, it's asking an awful lot. You know, the old handicapping cliche is uh, don't uh, don't ask a horse to do something that he's never done before. Well, especially. And you're asking him to do one or two things he's never done before, and, uh, you know, and that includes uh, moving up into into almost world class company. American, uh, another up and comer. Uh, he's just transferred from the Andre Fabre yard to uh, Todd Fletcher. Uh, he won a great uh, Group Two in France last year. Uh, it was his best race yet. He seems to be on the improve. Um, he made a, a nice move, a, a good work over the uh, grass training track here uh, last week. Uh, he gets Lasix. Uh, no reason why he can't be the one that steps up. Uh, but again, this is very tough company. Uh, but if there's an up-and-comer who, uh, who has all the goods, American is one who does. Uh, the others uh, that we need to take a look at are, are three uh, European horses who have been here for a while and really haven't, haven't fulfilled what it seemed like they, they could do. Lauro is a nibbler. Um, he's experimented with several different styles, now whether that's uh, out of tactics or just the way the race happened to fall to him. Um, he certainly um, 
made a nice close in his last race. It was his first time closing from far back, and uh, he, he looked good doing it. Uh, nearly, uh, nearly got there and finished second. Uh, in the past, he's stalked. He's even led. Um, but, uh, like I said, he's a nibbler. He just doesn't seem quite fast enough. He seems a half a cut below these. It would take him a move forward. Uh, is it there? He, he certainly showed it in Europe that he could handle this level of competition, but uh, I haven't seen it yet in the States. Keanu, uh, he comes in off a similar prep schedule that he did last year. He spent some time in Dubai, uh, goes to Italy, to San Siro. Um, he, this year he added uh, the Man of War as a prep, and he did decently there. Um, he, he seems to prefer off-going, and I, I, you know, it's still the middle of the week. As I record this, I'm not sure that uh, there's going to be any moisture in the course. Um, so again, he seems like one who uh, always is threatening, always lurking, never seems to get from the outside to the inside. And finally, uh, there's a horse uh, who I really think has a great shot here, and that's Musketeer. Um, he has finally, uh, recently, begun using some speed to get himself into, into races. Uh, he's, uh, he, he's actually improving as a seven-year-old. You don't really see that very often, to say the least. Um, I, I think that the only thing uh, stopping him here, he does seem to be lone speed. The only thing stopping him is that he's stuck in a far outside post. It's going to be a tough run into that first turn. Uh, it, he probably is going to have to be used up to, to make the lead if that's what he wants. Maybe he can fall into a tracking trip. Uh, it's, it is a long race and, uh, and take the lead uh, coming down the, uh, the stretch the first time. Um, if he does that, I think he has the best chance to win, but uh, he, he is up against it. Uh, in terms of trip. So I have a knock against essentially every horse in the race. Uh, you know, if I look at it cynically, none of them can possibly win. So uh, one of them will prove me wrong, and I look forward to seeing which one.